My name is Thomas Unger and I'm sitting here together with Frank Haldemann. Both of us are the co-editors of a new book which was just published by Oxford University Press on the United Nations set of principles to combat impunity. The United Nations set of principles to combat impunity are one of the landmark documents which have been developed here in Geneva at the United Nations back then uh, in the 90s by the Commission on Human Rights. Uh, which is the entity which existed before the Human Rights Council here in Geneva. The UN set of principles to combat impunity have really been instrumental to develop the field to combat impunity. They have been instrumental to move forward discussions in the area of criminal justice, the question of reparation for victims, question of truth-seeking, questions of institutional reform. They have been used quite regularly by courts and have also influenced government policies in the area of fighting impunity. And we realized that this has been so far no systematic overview of the principles and we thought it would be a good idea to have a commentary covering really the different areas which are relevant not only to human rights but also to transitional justice. And so a couple of years ago we started looking for um, a team and we were lucky enough to find prominent scholars and practitioners working with us and we're very proud to have them gathered here in this book. The book covers the 38 principles and it has also so a principle by principle discussion and it is also an introduction where we try to um, show the development of the field in, over the last years. And we hope very much that this will be um, a helpful, useful <coughs> tool to work with for students, but also for practitioners and theorists in the field. And finally, um, both of us, uh, Frank Haldemann and myself, are very proud that uh, the mother of the UN set of principles to fight impunity, Diane Orendliche, who in 2005 uh, did an update version of the UN set of principles, which were originally developed by Louis Jeunet, that Diane Orendlich is writing in our book, uh, in the prologue, uh, and is prominently represented among uh, the contributors um, of our new commentary. So our hope is that this will be a useful instrument, a tool of work for practitioners, scholars and students, and will be useful uh, for future work in the field.